friend of the ER, Dr. Samson Davis, to talk to you about what we need to know about other vital health screenings. So explain how delaying a doctor's visit for, for example, a cancer screening yeah. could be so deadly. Well, as you know, Dr. Oz, early detection is key in preventing untimely death. And according to the Institute of Human Data Science, we saw a 90% decrease in April compared to February of major screening exams such as your colonoscopies, your pap smears, your mammograms. Now, with these elements and, and you add COVID-19, you run an increased chance of an untimely death, and we don't want to see that. And they added the numbers up, but it's just sort of scary because we lose our best opportunity. What are the other key bits of health information that we could be missing when you skip a routine examination? So when you skip routine examination, the, uh, it's very important to understand, like, there's four things. And there are a lot of things, but four things that come to mind is early detection of preventable diseases, which we mentioned. Yeah. Uh, you worry about monitoring your chronic conditions, so your diabetes. Do I need to adjust my medications? High blood pressure. Do I need to add another high blood pressure medication to my regimen? Vaccinations, as we know, we've seen uh, polio eradicated in this country. Mm -hmm. Now that we're delaying receiving our routine vaccinations, not only do we are we planting the seeds for polio, but things like measles, mumps may make a return, and we don't want to see that. And your mental health, especially right now during COVID-19, uh, uh, this pandemic, is important to make sure that we are taking care of any sort of uh, mental health depression or anxiety. You got to help out there, but you got to look. And let me be really clear on this, loud and clear. We cannot give cancer or heart disease or diabetes an inch. Right? So as you fight this virus, stay diligent in preventing more deaths from other problems. All right, let's go on over here. Talk about the appointments that we should all be making today. Give me sort of the, the checklist. So today, right now, you should definitely make all your yearly examinations. So if you do for yearly physical, you want to make sure you do that today. All your cancer screening exams, again, the mammograms, you want to uh, get done, your, uh, your colonoscopies, and then your prostate exams. I know we're a little reluctant. You want to make sure you get that taken care of uh, today as well. Your dental examinations, as you mentioned, that little dental infection can turn into a roaring infection in which you lose many teeth, as well as your immunizations is key right now as well. You want to make sure you receive your routine immunizations for our more mature population we're about the pneumonia vaccine and the flu shot is key, especially doing right now. So, you know, my production team tries to do the, the things we're telling you to do. So I, I've seen firsthand their recent visits to doctors, right? Lots of protocols in place. There's Marty does a lot of the fuel packages for us. If you can get him to go to a dentist office or an eye, eye exam, you guys can do it as well. There are pre-screening questions about every COVID symptom, waiting rooms that we barely waiting. You saw I didn't. They called me. I went right through. Right that way, you keep socially distanced from from folks because your cars, you know, the safest place to be. Oftentimes, masks, sanitizing uh, tools, disinfecting with new technology, wireless entryways, touchless ways of doing things. This is all important stuff. And telehealth might be the single biggest positive that came out of this whole process in the healthcare field. There was a three hundred fold increase in the first month of the pandemic. So when should you use a video call, Samson, if you've got an issue? So, yeah, telehealth is here to stay. And it's, it's great, actually, because it, it allows you to see your doctor in the comfort of your home. So just your yearly examinations, your yearly physical examinations, you want to make sure you can do through telehealth. Any sort of prescription adjustments, if you run out your 30-day supply, that doesn't mean you stop taking your medication. You just want to call your doctor to get a refill of the medication as well. It's very important. All your pre-surgical screenings, you can get done over telehealth. And again, your mental health, you can see your therapist, your psychologist, all from the comforts of your home. Simple, easy, and safe. Up next, the essentials you need to start tracking your health. Find out what tools doctors keep at home, like us.